Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I want to share one of the ultimate software features of your Samsung Galaxy smartphone that allows you to hide any photo, video, message, or any type of file under a total lockdown. Once you hide these files, nobody can access them unless they know your unique password or PIN number. And of course, everything is fully encrypted and only you have access. So let's dive in and discover this powerful feature. Let me show you how to set it up and let me show you. All right, so the very first thing that you wanna do is you wanna actually set up the secure folder for the very first time. So you wanna go to your settings, all right? You wanna scroll down to where it says biometrics and security, and then you wanna scroll down to where it says secure folder. Now, when you tap this for the very first time, it's gonna take you into the startup screen. And it says it right here, protect your data and make secure copies of your applications. We're gonna be talking about that in a second, tap on agree. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have a Samsung account on your phone and you have logged into that account. If you haven't, it's gonna ask you to create one. And if you do have one, it's gonna ask you to log into it. I'm gonna log into it with my fingerprints right over here. And it should start to set up the secure folder. You can see some of the features right here. Uh, keep your apps secure, lock them in your secure folder, add files easily into your private folder and also remove them if you so desire. So let's wait for this to happen and we're good to go. Now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you pick a patron pin or a password for the secure folder. This pin number or this password is gonna be different than the one you use to log into your phone. So let's create a unique secure folder pin. I'm gonna just go with the pin. And of course you can activate fingerprints as well. I would definitely recommend that it makes logging into your uh, secure folder much more easy. So I'm gonna tap on next and let's just pick up a pin number. I'm just gonna pick something simple here, 1111, just for the sake of this video, 1111, click okay, all right? So what happens is you go directly into your secure folder. Now the very first thing that you wanna do as soon as you're here is to go into the settings and this is very important for security. You wanna to go to the settings and you wanna tap on auto lock secure folder and you wanna say immediately, okay? So I'm gonna show you why I did that. Now when I exit secure folder and when I try to go back into it, by the way, the very first time you set it up, it's gonna be dumped into your app drawer. As you can see, secure folder just got activated, okay? Now when I try to go inside, boom, it asks me to actually put in my uh, pin number, which I'm gonna do right now, there we go. And then it's gonna take me into the secure folder. Now if I go to my gallery application, it's all uh, completely, let's just deny that, uh, it's completely empty. But when I go to my regular gallery, as you can see, outside of the secure folder, I do have things in it. So for example, if I go to my downloads folder, I have a bunch of things here. I got camera photos and everything. But when I go to my secure folder, uh, when I log in with my fingerprint, all right, and when I go to my gallery application, it's empty because I never put anything in there. So what if I wanna hide one of my public photos into my secure folder gallery? So you launch your public gallery application, which is just uh, sitting on the desktop in my case. So I'm gonna tap it. And let's say I wanna uh, only hide one photo. I tap on that one photo, then I tap on the button on the top here, and then there's an option that says move to secure folder. I'm gonna tap on it. It's gonna ask me to scan my finger pin or put my pin number in, uh, the secure folder pin number, remember that, it's unique. And it's going to move the item to secure folder and that item is now disappeared from my public gallery that everybody can access. However, if I were to go into my secure folder and log in, all right, I can launch the gallery and that photo is now here. Nobody can access this, this photo unless they go into the secure folder, log into it, and launch the gallery application right from here. So that file is now 100% private. Nobody can pry into it if they're on your phone. Now one more thing, if you have, uh, if you wanna do multiple photos at the same time, you can do that, do that as well. So basically if you press and hold, now you can select two photos or 20, 30, 40 photos. If you tap this again, you have the same option, move to secure folder. So when I tap that, I'm gonna dump my fingerprint. It's gonna move everything over to my secure folder at the same time. Now let's go back out and go into my secure folder 
And let me just log in. I'm going to show you a couple of things over here. Now, when I go to my gallery, obviously, I've got three photos now that I moved over. They're all private. Now, what if I want to undo and make a picture uh, again? I want to make it public. I don't want to uh, hide it anymore. So I can tap it. I can tap that button. I can say move out of secure folder. So you can put things in the folder and also you can put it back in uh, the public, uh, in, in the public folder, which is right here. And now when I go to my gallery under downloads, I've got that photo again. All right. So you can move in and out. Now, there's a couple more things about the secure folder that you should be aware of. Now, first and foremost, we can grab this. Let me just grab this and put it on the desktop to make it easy to access it. Let me just put it right here for now. So let's tap on it. Let's log into it. There's a couple things you want to do in your secure folder uh, through the settings. Uh, I'm going to show you some more things that are very important, but these are also very important. So tap on settings. And what you can do right here is you can go to lock type. And again, from here, you put in your pin number for the secure folder and you can manage, you can change your pin number and you can disable your fingerprints and all that good stuff. So just be aware of this. And here's one more important thing. Show icon on apps screen. If you disable this, you can even hide the secure folder itself. So it's not going to be anywhere. OK, now there's a way to access it, but this is just for maximum security. Nobody even knows that you have a secure folder, so they can't even try to guess pin numbers and passwords. So to access secure folder after you hide it, you go into the settings and basically go back to that uh, section where it says biometrics and security. And then you go down to the secure folder once again. But this time when you tap on it, it's going to allow you to log into it and access the folder. OK, so if you want, you can show icons on app screen. I like to do this, but here's what I like to do on top of it. I like to go back into my secure folder. Now it's back over here and I like to change the way it looks so I can customize it and I can just say, for example, take a look at this. I can say finance. And now what happens is the name of the folder has changed. So now it's a finance folder. So nobody's even going to assume that you're hiding innocent photos in there. They're just going to assume this is a bank folder and bank folders are naturally locked up. So if you're hiding something special from somebody special, they're not even going to suspect you. Of course, I'm joking, but you get the point. Now, other things you can do with the secure folder. Again, very important. Uh, if you launch something inside the secure folder, so let me launch Samsung Notes in the secure folder. There's going to be nothing here, OK, because this is the secure version. When I create a note after la launching that application from the secure folder, that note is, in fact, secret. OK, so save. It's here. So I can access this from this Samsung Notes, but I cannot access the note I just made from the uh, public Samsung Notes. Let's uh, look for that right here. So here we have all these things right here, but we don't have the one I just made a couple seconds ago, which was titled as secret. And again, if I make something here, let me just say test, click on save. So I have a brand new file in my public Samsung Notes folder. But when I go to my secure folder, which is now known as finance, let's log in. It's not going to show up here. So everything that you do inside the secure folder stays in the secure folder, which is fantastic. Even if I were to launch the camera and take a photo from my secure folder, that photo is only going to be saved to this gallery right here. Uh, as you can see, that's the black photo that I just took, but it's only going to be available here. If I go to my uh, public gallery, it's not going to be there. OK, so just remember everything you do after launching this folder stays in that secure folder. And of course, you can add any file. You can tap on this. You can pick images, videos, audio, documents, or you can go to my files and pick any file manually to move into the secure folder. And then when you want to access that file, you go to this my files. It's going to show up right here. So you can move anything you want from add files or or if you tap on add applications, you can actually add applications, copies, secure copies of applications in your secure folder. So, for example, if I take this Facebook application and if I add it to my secure folder, this Facebook, when I launch it, when I log into it uh, with a separate account is going to have all the messages and stuff from that account in here. But when I go outside and launch this Facebook, my personal Facebook is going to have my personal account. So you can hide your accounts 
just like that, which is fantastic. Now let's go back into my finance folder here, which is completely innocent. I'm gonna log right into it. And then I do wanna show you if you go to the settings, uh, I encourage you guys to play with this. You do have other options here. You can actually back up your secure folder to your Samsung account. So when you buy a brand new Samsung phone, you can transfer the secure folder over from your uh, backup, okay? And then you can also, but that's basically what secure folder is all about. That's the capabilities. It's an amazing little tool. Normally you pay a bunch of dollars to get applications like this, but this one is built into Samsung. Nobody can uninstall this. So you never lose any data and you can back it up and you can hide your stuff. All right, so if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.